Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a really quick one again. Almost a bit of an unboxing video, but I don't actually have a box for these. But I basically, I just got back from Aldi. And if any of you guys shop there at all, you'll notice that they sometimes have random bits as one-offs. And I've noticed recently they've started doing even art supplies. So I had a video a while back on a pack of markers I bought from there that I drew a dragon with. So I'll put a link on screen in the description box for those who want to see that. Aside from that, I just wanted to show you guys what I bought today. Um, just because it seemed like a really cheap price. I've literally just got back, so I haven't tested these yet. But I wanted to make this video straight away, just in case they do sell out of these things really quickly. And any of you guys at home want to go and buy them before they do. So I got some watercolour pencils for $2.99. I got this set of brushes for $4.99. I wasn't going to get these at first, but... I wanted to show them on the camera and also the case looks pretty cool on the picture so it helped me justify it a little bit more. They did have a few different types of brushes as well. These ones that I've bought as you can see are for the watercolours and the reason for that are because the pencils that I've bought are watercolour pencils. Then I bought a mixed media pad again for the watercolours. It says you can use it for dry and wet medium. I don't know how good it is yet but that was $3.99. And then last of all, they had these buckets of paint, so $4.99, uh, I think there is 20 colours in there. Yeah, so 20 colours of 12mm, and I got the watercolour ones, but they did have oil paints and acrylic paints. I don't really do much painting, so I don't really know how to use any of these, but I feel like I could have a go with watercolour more than others. So... Quick breakdown, $4.99 for these works out at about 25p for each tube. I'll be honest, when I have used watercolour, I prefer the little pans of paint. But um, I think there are advantages to these and I will definitely test them out. The mixed media pad is 25 sheets, 250 GSM. This is A4 size and that works out at about 16p a sheet, I think. And I'm actually just going to open this and just check what the paper quality is like on camera. Okay, so we've opened this, let's take a look at the paper, and you will notice that everything was wrapped up, uh, which is nice when you're buying art supplies in person, because you never know if someone's opened them and, you know, bent the pages and drawn on them or whatever else. Feels pretty good, doesn't feel overly thick, but it does say 250 GSM. Hasn't got too much texture to it, but I have another pad here just to compare it, this is just one of the other mixed media pads that I have, this is a Daler and Rowney one. Um, it's slightly different size, but apparently there's some drawings in it. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember doing that. Um, this actually feels a little bit thicker, but I'm not sure if it is because it claims to be the same size. Similar, maybe if anything, this one might have a little bit more texture to it. I'm not too sure. So to give you a quick price comparison, this one was $3.99. This one, if it was the same size, A4, you would get an extra five pages. But on Amazon, it was over £9, so it's a third of the price. It's worth noting as well, I am in the UK for all this, um, as you can tell from the pound symbols. So let me quickly open these as well. They're wrapped up, but I think you guys can see the colour range from that. I'm quite often put off by in packs of 12 pencils, purely because I don't feel like you get enough in them to create finished pieces. But yeah, I figured for $3.99 I'd give them a go, make a video out of it. Which brings me to my next point. I am going to do a video on the watercolour paints and a separate video on the watercolour pencils. As mentioned, I don't really know how to use them very well. But you know what, it's a bit of fun and we can test the quality that way. And I'll use this paper for it as well, I think. So last of all, let me get this open just so that we can see the case. And you get 10 brushes in this. I don't know if I would use them all, to be honest. I prefer smaller ones, but you never know. If I started painting more backgrounds and things, I'd probably have more use for the bigger ones. The other brushes they had, I think, were acrylic ones. These say something about pony hair on them, and the acrylic ones said something about hog hair being stiffer, and yeah, I don't know enough about paint brushes to actually explain that, though. Okay, so you can see the brushes there. And I cannot fold it. It's clearly never being folded. I mean, it's a pretty nice case, to be fair. To say the brushes were £5, I only buy cheap brushes anyway. But 
you can pay more than a fiver just for a case. So I feel like it was a little bit easier to justify the purchase. The zip is a little bit stiff, but that might just be because it's new. Okay, there we go. Nope, yep, there we go. So it's fine once it's zipped up. Yep, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's just check that it does unzip easily enough. Yeah, good. I was a bit worried for a second there. So that's it. This video has gone on way too long already, but I just wanted to make you guys aware that Aldi have these at the moment for anyone who does want to try them out. But they definitely seemed like a really good price. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have already tried these or if you found any other good art supplies at a good price. And make sure you hit the thumbs up button and of course make sure you subscribe for more content because in the next few videos I will be testing some of these. Thanks everyone.